8 things you didn't know about the Pagani Huayra BC. Number 1. Did you know that BC stands for Benny Cayola? He was the very first Pagani customer, a well-known car collector, and he was in fact so satisfied with his purchase that he actually wrote Mr. Pagani another letter after receiving the car. And I've actually got a copy right here. Dear Mr. Pagani, I've been fortunate enough during my lifetime to have owned some of the finest automobiles on the market. Being an avid collector of Ferrari, I had often thought there couldn't be a finer and more exotic vehicle made. That wasn't until I owned the Pagani. This car is the Michelangelo of the industry. I am truly honored to own one. I have enclosed a check for a thousand dollars. Please treat your mechanics to a fine dinner as a token of my appreciation for their spectacular workmanship. The Pagani is truly a work of art. Sincerely, Benny Cayola. The Cayola family actually received one of the Huayra BCs in their family colors, red and cream. Number 2. Did you know that the wing mirrors of each Pagani Huayra BC are shaped like a woman's eye? For Mr. Pagani himself, they represent true perfection and combined with their amazing aerodynamical properties, they are, according to him, perfect for usage on a car. Number 3. Did you know that only 4 Pagani Huayra BCs have a roof scoop, an extra air intake on their roof? The Pagani Huayra BC is already strictly limited, but if you manage to see one with a roof scoop on top, it's a really, really rare car. Little side note here, there is a Pagani Huayra BC with an even higher level of customization from the factory. It's called the Machina Volante and it's owned by an American car collector named Chris Singh. He also owns a Lamborghini Venino and then Koenigsegg Agera XS. Not only does his PC feature a roof scoop, but he also ditched the Huayra wing mirrors in favor of the old Pagani Sonda wing mirrors. He even opted to have Sonda R air intakes on the rear half of the car and rumor has it that the car is now back at the factory for another customization including a new rear wing. Number 4. Did you know that if you combine the price of each titanium bolt used in the Pagani Huayra BC you could buy a Porsche 911. Each titanium bolt costs around 80 euros and there are 1,400 of them in each Pagani Huayra BC. Now if we do the math right here, that's 112,000 euros. You could buy a Porsche 911 for that kind of money. Number five. Now this is an interesting one. Pagani themselves claim officially that only 20 Pagani Huayra BCs will be built not more. Well, I did a little bit of research on the internet and I managed to find 27. 27 different PCs. They are not repainted, they are not rewrapped. Those are different chassis numbers, not including prototypes and factory cars. There are 27 different customer PCs in the world right now. I'm gonna show you a pic of every single one right here. I mean, I personally don't have anything against more BCs on the road. I mean, it just increases my chance of actually seeing one driving on the road, but I wouldn't really say it's strictly limited to 20 cars. Number six, did you know that the titanium exhaust of the Pagani Huayra BC weighs just 2.9 kilograms? Now to put that into perspective, Let's take the exhaust system of an Audi R8. That weighs nearly 40 kilograms. 40 compared to 2.9 of the Pagani Huayra BC. That's around six pounds of weight for an entire exhaust system, making it the lightest exhaust to ever be fitted on a production car. Number seven. Did you know that parts of the suspension and the wishbones are made of aeronautical grade aluminium? Now this sort of aluminium is only used in certain planes fighter jets and rockets, making it one of the most exclusive materials used in automotive industry to date. Number 8. And to top it all off, the Pagani Huayra BC is not just made from simple carbon fiber, it's made from carbotanium, one of the coolest sounding materials ever, if you ask me. It's a special carbon fiber reinforced with woven in titanium strings. Pagani claims it makes the chassis 40% stiffer and 25% lighter than a normal carbon fiber chassis. And carbon fiber is not exactly heavy in the first place. 
Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this car trivia video. If you have any more car suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comments down below. I'm gonna read through all of them. Also feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. That would be highly, highly appreciated. Drop a like if you like this video. Subscribe if you wanna see more stuff like this. And until next time, bye.